Blame it on vanity, Hollywood, hell, and heaven. Denise Katrina Matthews was professionally known as Vanity. She was a Canadian singer, songwriter, dancer, model, and actress. Denise Vanity Matthews, former lead singer of the 1980s pop band Vanity Six and one-time protege of Prince Roger Nelson. Her biggest hit, Nasty Girl, was produced by Prince and released in 1982. Matthews disbanded Vanity Six in 1984 and soon signed a deal with Motown. She released two solo records, Wild Animal and Skin on Skin. Matthews also dabbled in acting, appearing in 1985, The Last Dragon, which was produced by Barry Gordy. Other films included Never Too Young to Die and Action Jackson. Her career lasted from the early 80s into the 1990s. Throughout the 1980s and early 90s, Vanity appeared in many magazines around the world. Vanity admitted that during this time, she lived an extremely wild life. There was lots of cocaine, lots of men and women. Everything she could indulge in she indulged in, all of which led her spiraling down into a deep, deep, dark, satanic place. In early 1992, Vanity became a born-again, spirit-filled Christian and stated in several interviews that she would not take any more sexualized roles. She renounced her stage name Vanity and reverted to Denise once again. each other since the Carson show yes. and you were beautiful then and you're uh, no. fat, oh, and you're beautiful more beautiful now good to Thank see you, you. now what ha you what was going on in your life that you found God and so explicitly uh, there's a man in the audience his name is Patrick Patrick and uh, Terry Copley right. brought me to the Lord um, what was going on in my life uh, horror torture um, I didn't I never snorted cocaine I smoked cocaine okay okay to That's me I don't truth. know the difference so uh, I'm sorry if I there's no difference it doesn't matter what you what you use if it's sex that you use whatever you use that uh, that kills yeah. the soul yeah you know I came to God uh, how many because, years ago oh no just in the past no, that kills yeah. the soul yeah you know I came to God uh, how many because, years ago Oh, no, just in the past nine months. I've been nine with God months. for nine months. For 33 years, I was the, the, the walking dead, okay? What was going on in your life? What? Because I never heard any stories about you. I know. You now know, they I, tell played me it, yeah. well, I played it off well. I, yeah. I would, uh, I would carry on with a mask. You know, I masked yeah. myself yeah. with clothes, with, um, with everything, you yeah. know, with makeup, whatever. I could with shades, with, simply with eyeglasses. Yeah. And today I'm, uh... You seem so <laughs> serene. Yes, I'm well, peaceful I mean, today. were you doing, you doing drugs, sex? I mean, like, men? No, there wasn't a lot of sex. There, was, there wasn't a lot of sex. Because I remember that time the whole, uh, which you didn't know, but the whole Doc Severinsen Orchestra voted you the woman they'd most like to go to bed with of that whole week's group, because that's what was going on backstage. Right. And, um, well, no, but that's what, and they don't mean that fresh. They just meant that all those gorgeous women would come through, and every week, at the end of the week, they'd say, who do you think was the best looking in the group? And you and you you were voted that week, and you never knew. These were like little private things. It never, it, I yeah. probably never heard. I wasn't yeah. really awake then. Were you wild, do you think? Uh, wild, yes, I was extremely wild. Uh, you know, give me, I a, give me an instance. I, I like, played, well, I used to go just going out and flirting and teasing and uh, just the way I showed myself, you know, the way I, I, I performed. Yeah. I, yeah, demons did possess me. Yeah. What about you? Just say, if you're not walking with God, demons will possess you. You were suspended over a bed? Somebody tell me yeah, something. A woman, a woman caught me one time suspended about three feet from my bed. But then, you know, I was, I was doing psychic reading. For anybody that's listening to psychics, for anybody that's doing psychic work, 
okay? Yeah. It's all of the devil. If you, when you come to God and you read the truth, which is in here, you'll be a prophet of Jesus. You won't be a psychic. How did you know Psychic work is, I yeah. would invite the demons into my house. And, and God says in Thessalonians that he shall send you strong delusion that you shall believe a lie because you did not receive the love of the truth he, uh, that you should be saved, but you will, you will perish. How that. did you know the demons were in you? Do you know well, what you know, saying? I didn't know what that was. Yeah. I believed that I was talking to God. Yeah. Okay? I Do believe that I was to talking to God. And most psychics that you sit up with, that, that converse with you, yeah. tell you that you are talking to God. Okay? Right. And that is a lie. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. And when you carry on with it, and, and, and when you, um, you get so into it, and you will invite those demons in to talk to you. They'll sit up and they'll tell you lies and they'll tell you they have past lives. Let me tell you something. You got one shot here. You got one shot. But Denise, how did you know you weren't talking to God if you thought you were? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, because I, uh, you know, there are a lot of ghosts working, throwing things in my house, and people were running out, and uh, I thought there was... I, I had begun by praying that God would just take me out of this because of the things that were happening to my body, the demons that were coming into my bed. What was happening to your body? You well, they were coming over your bed. Yeah, forget all that. Yeah. They were coming into my bed and they were sleeping in my bed and they were walking around my bed and they were trying to You could the see them? Me. Yes, I could see them and also but but God has delivered me. From yeah. Oh, I know that. You understand? But, but that that stuff will happen to you if you carry on doing the things that you're doing. What about period? Prince now. Does that mean there were demons in him too because you were associated well, you with know, him? You know, you know something? That's not for me to judge, but I can yeah. tell you that if you're not walking with the Lord, if you're not doing this, right. okay, because you won't find those pictures that are in there of, of me. You won't find them in this book. I right. threw out all those pictures. If you're not walking with God, then you're walking with the ugly thing, okay? You're walking with him. And until you get reborn, because God says, verily, this is God talking, verily, verily, I say unto everyone, right. no right. man shall enter the kingdom of God lest he be born again. So now what did you do? I was walking dead. But now you're fine. I walk with the Lord. And you change your name and you yeah. feel the cement. What did you like? I this sounds so. very shallow. I'll, I wake up. I wake yeah. up. Whoa. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm alive. Right. <laughs> I get excited in God. I get excited. I never had a, a reason to live before. I, what did I talk yeah. about? Joan, when I talked to you the Which, last time, we talked about how I wear my lingerie. I mean, I, come yeah. on. Wake up. I know. You I know was shallow. Saying? I That's thought that was interesting. I, I, I know. Mean, how do you wear your lingerie today? Yeah. Whoa, great conversation. You know, yeah. today I don't talk about did that. Did you get stuff. rid of everything? Like, did you get rid of yeah. your lingerie? Did you get rid of all that yeah. stuff? Did you yeah. clean house? Yeah, clean house. What Boy, did you... a lot to clean house. I was going to say, what did you, <laughs> what did you throw out? Physically. We, we, physically, what did you men, get rid? We threw out men. Men. Out of my life, we have Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody else? Nobody else. Just Jesus. No man? Just Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But what happens when you meet somebody and it's wonderful and terrific? Well, then it's wonderful and it's terrific and it's sweet, but you know... You won't I sleep I don't, with anybody? No, I won't sleep I don't mean, mean sleep I will like let, I will you, let you, God. and you. Okay, tell me but, something. Yeah. Through your childhood or through yeah. your uh, adult yeah. whatever, um, men that came into your life or that come into your life, if they haven't been picked, if it hasn't, if he hasn't been picked or she hasn't been picked by God, you usually make a mistake. Yeah, but, but right. what if somebody very nice now comes into your life? Would you, but you Hello, know how I, are you? But, <laughs> it's a but, pleasure. Yeah, but what if you, you wouldn't get are you married? With the Lord, if you're not with the Lord, but, I'll bring you okay. to the Lord. What, what if somebody's nice and adorable yes. and believes in God and all that? You wouldn't get married. Well, no, whatever God wants. Yeah, and God saying, will tell me. He'll prophesy to me. He'll right. tell me. You know what? You know what? If if you don't have the Lord, this is what you're missing. You're missing life. Number one. Number two, you're missing a beautiful voice talking to you, telling you where to go and what to do. Okay, you're missing a comforter, somebody that loves you. I was in the shower the other day. The most uplifting thing to me was the fact I said, God, now, what do you want to tell me this morning? Okay, because I know you got something to tell me. He said, Denise, I love you. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you love me? Me? I had no, there was no reason for anybody to love me Why before I came Why were you so unhappy? Jesus. You were successful. Because my life, I always, I always thought about what had happened to me as a child. I was uh, abused badly, so I thought about that all the time. Yeah. And I never knew how to forgive that, okay? I could never let it go. People say, let it go. Who abused who you? Gonna give, who are you going to give it to? Yeah. The universe? The universe will yeah. throw it right back in your face, yeah. okay? Yeah. Today, I let it go. I give it to the Lord. I what have about to give it to. other people like Michael Jackson or Sinead O'Connor? And all these people, what's going on? What do you think about them? Well, you know, I have Latoya one thing Latoya Jackson, where she's jumping around these days. You know, I, I pray for these people. I pray for them because God wants us all. Yeah. He chooses us all to come. 
If God should come knocking on your door through somebody, listen to them. What about Madonna? I what do you think about too. Madonna? I, I, with she that, reminds with the book. me of my old self. She reminds me of. Yeah. You cannot live that kind of life and be happy inside, okay? When you go home and you shut your door, you'll be just like I was. Okay, you miserable. don't want to oh, miserable, and I was on my knees, hands and knees, praying to God, please help me, please find me, send me people that will show me the way, the truth, the light, or just let me die because oh. I hate myself. Now I, I'm in such shock because I, I, I didn't know what was going me, on. With and you. I left your show, yeah. and I walked off your show. I went home just to get away from everybody. Now that isn't what God wants us. See, God doesn't just put us in the world so we can just say, oh God, let's get away from everybody. Right. I hate myself, I hate the world, I hate it all. I couldn't wait to leave, to get home and be by myself. Why? To cry. What is this doing That's with sad. your career now? Are they not My offering career. you the part? But you know. Oh, everything. sure. No, see, you, you can't offer me nothing. But what One about thing, making nothing, a living? Nothing, nothing comes unto man except it come from God first. Right. God gave you this show. Right. You? Everything that you have in your life, God gave you. Everything that you have in your life, God has given to you. He's yes, waiting for you to but thank God you. God is giving me the show to pay my bills. Thank How you. are you paying? No, but you know. How, How are you paying your bills? I, I just finished The Highlander. I just, when I came with God, boy, before that, I couldn't get a job. Today, I mean, I got four films. Boom, 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 boom. But, thank you, Jesus. But what do you, in, like, in Lady, in Lady Boss, yes. you play a very slutty character. You were no, the I same. didn't play the slutty character. They portrayed me as that. They wanted to portray me that I won a case in the show that says I wasn't. Meaning, right. just like in my life, what has happened in that show happened in my life. So that's why you Trying could take that suicide, part. Suicide, all that stuff. Right. Yes, that's why I could take over that that's part. Why you could take and that the part. Lord had bigger plans just because of that part. Do you want to know what they were? Yeah, sure. So that I could go on that set and I could witness to people like you. And while I'm witnessing, God's testifying to me the same thing. Will you stay for the rest of the show? Hallelujah. Okay. We'll be right back in a moment with another unbelievable story on the sexy blonde bombshell, Terry Copley, whose beautiful body was also possessed by demons, so stay tuned. I get asked a lot, T, do you think that, that uh, Denise Matthews uh, traded her addiction for the, the things that she did in the world for Jesus Christ? And I said, you bet you I believe that. Okay, so what if she is addicted to the Lord? What if she is addicted to Jesus Christ? That would be rather be addicted to the Lord, not religion, but to the Lord, than to be bound by the devil. Because the devil had her toe up. Y'all heard how the devil used to come in her room. And in many other, other interviews, she stated how she used to levitate, how she had no peace. She was doing mirror scrying. She was uh, operating in psychic um, witchcraft and she was operating in deep levels of witchcraft and how she had, she was tormented, had no peace and wanted to kill herself. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Thank God that she turned her life from vanity. And, and gave her life back over to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I glorify him for that. She is proof that any celebrity, any celebrity, and anybody can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you've done. God is still God. He's still saving folks. Due to kidney problems from her 10-year crack cocaine addiction, Matthews had to undergo dialysis five times a day. Each session was 20 minutes long. Matthews underwent a kidney transplant in 1997, but her health worsened in 2015 after she was diagnosed with sclerosing and capsulating perianitis, an inflammatory condition of the perineum, a membrane which lines the inner abdomen and abdominal organs. Matthews died in Fremont, California, hospital on February 15th, 2016, coincidentally the same day that Prince's mother died. Matthews died from kidney failure at age 57. Matthews left much of her estate to her church. A dying wish of hers was to have her ashes scattered over the coast of Hawaii and for her loved ones to celebrate her life with festivities and no tears. In my mind, 
I imagine Sister Denise Matthews is in heaven with her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, with God worshiping him in spirit and in truth, and more than likely singing with the angels the following song. Thank God for the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand in his honor tonight, everybody that can get on your feet. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords, we bless him tonight. Everybody lift your hands just for a moment, come on. Let's lift it up to him right now. To him who sits on Oh. 
Lord. Jesus. 